Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and uh, welcome to day four of my one sketch a day, seven day challenge. Um, today I'm going to work from my imagination rather than a photograph, and I want to paint a little cottage scene um, with a lawn and some trees. I'm using my A4. A6 Sea White of Brighton mixed media cartridge paper sketchbook. So it's not watercolour paper. Um, so I'm having to paint very, very simply. Uh, but I want to keep these um, sketches nice and simple anyway. This daily sketch challenge is just a way to really loosen up and sort of practice sketching, practice staying loose, not getting too bogged down with detail or worried if things don't quite work out exactly as you want them to. Um, sketching is sort of like an exploration. It's practice um, as well as note taking, maybe for larger paintings. So that's what I'm exploring today. Um, I shall put details of my sketchbook in the comments below, but it's really small. I think it's only about sort of six inches by three and a half inches, something like that. So I've put some um, washi tape around the edge of my page as a border and I'm just sketching out the scene. I want a few buildings, um, a lawn across in front of the buildings. Um, I want them surrounded by trees with some larger trees on the left. I'm going to paint it as a line and wash. So once I've finished um, roughly penciling in the scene, then I'll go over the main lines, the main outline with waterproof fine liners. The fine liner that I'm using today, it's uh, made by Pigma, it's a Pigma Micron and the size is, it's a 0.3 millimetre nib. And then a bit later on, I'll use um, a Faber-Castell um, artist pit pen, again waterproof, uh, with a sort of fairly large chisel tip. I think maybe a, it's about, I don't know, one and a half mils, two mils maybe. You can see all I'm doing is going over my pencil outline, expanding the sketch a little bit, uh, just to sort of fill out that outline, and then it should make it nice and easy for me to get my washes in. Because this little mixed media sketchbook isn't um, made from watercolour paper, then I'm having to be quite quick and quite simple with my watercolour washes because the paper buckles quite a lot and it doesn't sort of absorb the paint in the same way as watercolour paper does. Um, it would be very easy just to sort of turn everything into mud or to get some sort of weird marks. So, But I don't mind really for this sketching. All I want to do is just roughly get in my elements, get the proportions right, keep it really loose so that I'm suggesting rather than sketching in over detail and it'll be exactly the same with the paint. Just sort of putting the paint in really quickly with quite a large brush because that can keep us loose as well. The larger the brush the looser we'll be. If you use a small brush then it's really tempting to sort of start to paint detail and to start to fiddle a bit. But with a large brush, we can keep our washes nice and loose. So I'm using um, a, um, a Skoda Perla size 14 synthetic round brush with a good point, And that's cobalt blue. And because I'm just working quickly with these sketches, I'm using pre-made greens. It's a combination of sap green and I'm going to be adding in some perylene green into that green as well. But if you prefer to, you can mix your own greens. And if you want to paint along with this challenge with me, feel free to follow along with these sketches if you like. But what's probably going to be best for you and for your own personal art practice is to choose and select your own um, scenes, your own photographs to sketch every day as simply as you can. And that way you'll be painting in your own way. And I'd love to um, see your paintings. You can share them on Instagram using the hashtag Lois Davidson Art. I shall put that in the description below. And 
or if you're a member of Patreon, then please share your sketching challenge um, paintings in the private Facebook group. And if you want to join Patreon, the link for that would be in the description below as well. So you can see the scene is coming together with the cobalt blue, the sap green and the perylene green. And now I'm adding in some burnt sienna just to warm up some of these areas around the cottages. So we've got the um, trees build, building up behind the cottages, um, a little bit of variation in um, the greens in the lawn and now using burnt sienna to go over these roofs. So we've got these nice simple roofs, going to darken up a couple of them just a little bit darker than the one in the middle and they stand out really nicely against the green foliage. Nice bit of contrast there. So darkening up a couple of the roofs and as this dries, it should all sort of dry nicely so that we get this sort of weathered look on those little cottages. So now a bit of Payne's Grey for the tree trunks, just thickening them up a bit where they where they were um, just sort of light, lightly put in with the fine liner. Um, I may go over them at the end with my thick fine liner, my chisel tip. But now this is perylene green and back to my round brush and just getting in some nice dark shades of foliage. Everything lightens up quite a lot more as it dries. So I'm going in nice and dark just to get these, um, this, the tonal values right for the rest of the painting. Put a little bit of tone. Um, that's very light cobalt blue with a touch of um, burnt sienna in it. Just really transparent, almost just paint water pulled across the front of the houses. And then into the damp paint, I'm using the tip of my palette knife to etch out just a few sort of random grasses and weeds and things into the lawn. Just darkening things up a bit. And now back with the palette knife and I'm just going to use the tip of the palette knife to carefully pull through the damp paint and just pull out a few light branches as the palette knife scrapes back to the white of the paper. And I think that's almost it. I'm going to, I think I might want to put some shadows onto the lawn from the trees, but I'm going to have a look at it first without the washi tape so we can see it with a border. Um, and I'm going to go over the Payne's grey trunks with my chisel tip fine liner. You can see that even though my hand's in the way, I'm afraid I can't help that because of my camera angle. Hopefully you can see that that's really bringing together those trees nicely. And with a sketch like this, of course, you can just experiment as, and play as much as you like because you're not wasting expensive watercolour paper. It's just a tiny piece of cartridge paper or drawing paper. Or you could even use printer paper if you don't mind things being a bit sort of wobbly. Uh, but I'm going to pull the trunks down a little bit lower. So that will bring these larger trees into the mid ground and push the cottages back. And once I've brought them down lower, um, I'm going to um, do what I said I probably would, and that's put some shadows in at a narrow diagonal across the lawn. And I think that just finishes the painting composition off nicely because then the eyes sort of drawn up through the shadows to the trees and then across the tree line to look at the little cottages. I think this painting, it looks reasonably effective. I think it's a, this sketch rather is a little bit overworked, but I'm not used to painting this small, to be honest. And although I'm really enjoying it, I'm finding it quite a struggle, but it's lots of fun. And it's what I wanted to do with this challenge was to learn to paint things loosely smaller so that when I go back to my larger pieces of paper hopefully I'll be more practiced at putting in this sort of size elements into my sort of distant tree line. Um, for example in day one with the boat that means hopefully I'll be able to paint some harbour scenes 
Uh, sketching like this just gives you really good transferable skills. If you sketch every day, then you'll soon find that you'll become much more fluent and it makes sketching and painting far more relaxing if you trust the skills that you're building up. So I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for day five. Um, I've got no idea what I'll be sketching, but I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Um, I'm really enjoying this process. And also don't forget to share your work with the hashtag Lois Davidson Art on Instagram. Thanks so much. Uh, please leave us a like and um, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thanks so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. And I'll see you tomorrow for more sketching. Take care and happy painting and happy sketching. Bye.